Managing digital face-to-face -face classroom communication, incorporating social and emotional dimensions. To manage both your digital classroom and face-to-face -face classroom effectively with an aim to support social and emotional aspects, there are some specific areas to focus on. Number one, developing relationships in the classroom. Teacher-student relationships is a keystone for all other aspects of classroom management. Children in our classrooms need to be seen, feel valued and accepted and appreciated. The way you use verbal and nonverbal language and how you create a caring and safe atmosphere in your classroom with norms, values and expectations form a strong foundation for effective interpersonal communication in your classroom management. In addition to developing teacher-student relationships in the classroom, it's also vital to support the development of student-student relationships and building a community. We must create structures in the classroom where, where students feel included and appreciated by their peers and teachers. You can do this through morning meetings, small moments throughout the day or class, or projects in which students can get a chance to share what they learn. You can make use of whole classwork, group work, pair work, and individual work in the classroom. This variety supports academic, social and emotional and cognitive skills in the classroom. Sometimes teachers might tend to use whole classwork much more than others. However, effective management of your classroom requires all forms of instructional activities depending on the activity needs and expectations. Number two, creating a fun, engaging and stimulating classroom environment. It's possible to come across misinterpretations of discipline or fun in classroom management. Actually, discipline is not about over-managing students or using punitive measures to get students to behave. Or fun is not about putting on a show in the classroom. Creating a fun, engaging and stimulating classroom environment refers to adding some fun and humor to the hours we spend with students. It doesn't mean a lack of discipline in the classroom. We still need to use developmentally appropriate disciplinary strategies, which motivate students to want to behave in the classroom. A fun, engaging and stimulating classroom environment keeps students alert and interested in learning activities and maximizes student learning. Furthermore, it minimizes behavioral problems. Establishing clear expectations and offering support. Establishing clear expectations in advance refers to making clear that students understand what they are expected of. These could be related to behavior, such as how to ask to speak in the digital classroom, or they could be related to the learning goals of a unit. Here, giving students opportunities to be self-directive is also important because students need to have the space to think, decide, and act concerning the shared norms and values in the classroom. Moreover, establishing clear expectations is not a one-time task. You need to support students' behavior by showing them how to do, what to do, and by practicing with them in the process. Here, the focus should be on what students should do, instead of using primitive measures for what they shouldn't do. And the next one, being consistent and persistent in behavior towards students. As a teacher, being consistent in one's behavior towards students and being persistent in students' behavior development build a strong foundation for effective interpersonal communication and classroom management. We need to be consistent in our expectations and behavior. Here, that is not only about the disciplinary actions, such as in reaction to different students who disrupt the activity several times, but also being consistent with showing expectations and reinforcements, such as in appreciating the positive behavior of different students. Another important thing is that working with misbehavior and supporting good behavior development might take longer than expected sometimes. So being persistent is the key here.